prepare to fight. I have no health, so it's gonna be a fun fight. You have invincibility, sir. Oh shit! You fight as our director tells you to. Oh great, he's smoked it. Oh, the frames. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Hey, what is up? It's Achilles, and today we got our hands on the Darwin Project open beta, so I just want to go ahead and drop my impressions on that. So, let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing I want to talk about is guess my impressions when I first saw it at E3. I thought it was just a regular old um, Battle Royale game that they were trying to overhype because they had like an announcer and it just really didn't catch my attention. I didn't really look into it, but I think after TVH dropped his video and I saw him playing, I was like, oh shit, this actually looks like fun. I went and checked it out for myself and exactly that, it is fun. Uh, let, me, let me just explain about the game. The game is a battle royale game, starts with 10 people and there's uh, one extra person who is the director. Now, the director is the key point to this game because they don't, they're basically like a god or a director. They don't have total power over you, but they can influence the game with different buffs that they hold and deep buffs. On top of that, the, the special drop box or loot box that drops down, that gives you a special, um, Tool, I think it's called electronic that you can build special things that you can only get by those drops he can place two of those down so he has a lot of influence and basically what the director does is he has a little plane or droid uh, drone that flies around and you can sit there and you can talk to the guys or you can even teleport in between guys uh, talk to them and just influence the game you can close zones off you can because they randomly close zones off there's only about six zones in the game so you get to choose two of those so you can uh, basically direct how the fighter is gonna go like if you see um, one person on the corner of the map and you close out the left side of the map next to him and he has to go to the right side so if there's somebody over there you encourage him to go that way and you know encourage fights or you can do it to save a person so if you know a person has low life and somebody with high life is starting to walk towards him you can close the zone in between them and make it where he doesn't want to go that way he wants to go the opposite way so you have lots of different things you can do as a director just with like simple things there's like lava there's invincibility shield there's heal there's a slow debuff there's a speed up the uh increase or buff there's uh, multiple things that you can do now uh, let me go ahead and switch over real quick to the, the actual guys playing the 10 players that are actually in the battle royale. Now the everybody starts off the same, everybody starts in their own area and they get a axe and an arrow and that's pretty much the only weapons that you have in the game. Now I know it seems like it's lacking but it's a shorter game and uh the this game is more about crafting unlike any other uh battle royale game you can craft with three different materials one you only get from a drop box like i was talking about earlier which is called an electronic um mat a material i can't remember exactly but i believe it's something like that and then you get wood and leather leather from the couch uh wood from a tree they also have different boxes out in the world that you'll find that have wood and leather and things like that and you have an option to choose from our weapon wheel of things to craft from so you start with armor which costs three wood three leather um shoes which costs two leather with which i mean arrow which you can build into uh, with one wood or even fire which this game has a 
another mechanic that they added in called uh, well i don't know what it's called but it's like you get cold in this game and if you get too cold you can freeze to death now i wish they added a little bit more to that aspect because um to unfreeze yourself or to get yourself back warm all you have to do is throw a campfire on and then you won't die so it's really easy to avoid and the only way you can like freeze to death is if you are in a fight when when you get really low in, in code and you can't you know build a campfire but you can always build a campfire in mid fight like after they shoot the arrow or after you get a, a hit with the axe because the axe actually does a good pushback so it'll give you enough time to to throw a campfire down and hopefully not get headshot by an arrow. I kind of wish the cold mechanic did a little bit more, like um, at a certain range when you're like 20% away from dying, maybe like slow you down or something like that, just to make you more mindful of it. Because it's really just like a, oh, let me pop this before. And you only really have to pop it one time during out the whole fight like if you get halfway you can pop it and like while nobody's around and you, i think you'll be good for the rest of the match or at least i was good for the rest of the match oh and uh tracking they actually added tracking into this game you can track footprints and also you can see like trails left into the snow so this is a really interesting feature that they added in which i like because it can you can tell if somebody's walked into a house or not because you can see or if, they, if they're close by because you can see these footprints and they have like small indicators if they're like old tracks or new tracks um i really didn't go too deep into the game on that just to know when you can tell or how you can tell exactly but i believe game auto if they're really close to you the game automatically tracks you starts tracking them and letting you know that hey there's somebody by you so you can kind of prep for this for the fight and not get blindsided but just to give an overall uh how i feel about the game the game is definitely fun especially if you have a really good director who's funny and is very talkative i was unfortunate to not really have one of those directors that was very talk or i'm the first two i didn't even know was there the third one he um he was just a normal a guy maybe heard him at the very beginning but after that i didn't hear from him, from him, see from him um i didn't hear from him, see from him to the very end when he held a grudge against somebody who killed him in another match and he targeted one person and he gave me praise for killing somebody but then immediately um buffed the guy um that came sec or came after i fought that guy and got me killed so fuck that guy but yeah uh if the director is cool and another thing about this game is they already show that they have a, a custom matchmaking so you'll be able to play with your community or your friends and you know just get 10 people on there and hopefully this is a play anywhere game because it's going to be on xbox and pc so we can get uh you know xbox pc guys uh, all from your community all in one game and you know just have lots of fun just picking on somebody who was talking mess about you or um you know being racist or something you can nerf them, slow them down, uh, you know, manhunt, hit them, make everybody target them, or, you know, just go all around, dick around in the game. Uh, I think that's overall what's going to be the maximum appeal for this game, is just that idea alone is worth it. And if it comes with Game Pass, definitely a pickup. If, um,. The game has to be competitive with PUBG pricing and um, because most games so far that are only Battle Royale I haven't really passed that 30 mark so if it's a $30 game I definitely definitely recommend picking this up but if you guys played the open beta let me know what you guys think um, also let me know if you guys think about uh, picking this title up when it comes out 
for the Xbox or for the PC, where y'all gonna get it from? And I think I'm out.